Hi, how's it going? So uh, I'll be very quickly going over how to get the uh, the Delta 6 set up on both the PC and an Xbox One console. Um, so if you notice, I have a, an, uh, a, a USB extension cable on my desk here. Now it is recommended that you do not use either the Delta 6 or a Cronus Max with the, uh, with the extension cable as your, your gameplay results may vary as um, like this cable works great in my instance but I have some other ones in the closet where if I plug up anything to them they, they simply don't supply enough power to the device for whatever reason and I will get constant connections and, and disconnections while I'm trying to play. So um, just for the sake of this video I'm using a USB extension cable so I could plug both into my desk so I could plug uh, into my desktop PC as well as my, my Xbox One console that's, that's over here off to the right off of the, uh, the camera. So uh, to get set up, you if you notice, your, your Delta 6 gun receiver, it has both a PC and an Xbox slash PS3 mode. So obviously if you want to connect to the PC, you'll press the button in, and then you can plug it into your PC. Well, in my case, I'm using the USB extension cable, and I'm going to run this over to my PC. And once connected, you'll notice the blue LED has illuminated right over where it says PC. Now the next thing we'll need to do is power on the Delta 6 and get it calibrated. So you can just simply power on the Delta and calibrate as normal. Um, before I do that I want to point out the sensitivity dial here. If you notice number one is on the left hand side and on PC mode, all of these numbers are different sensitivity settings, with number one being the lowest sensitivity and number six being the highest sensitivity. What I found that works the best when playing on PC is to set the, the, uh, the Delta 6 sensitivity to number one and go into your in-game options menu and raise or lower the sensitivity from there. So this being said, I'm going to turn on the Delta. I'm going to point it towards the center of my screen and I'm going to hold the calibration button. Once you feel the gun vibrate, you can release. If you notice, you can see my mouse cursor moving around there. So to recenter, you'll simply point the gun to the center of the screen, hold the calibration button again, and when you release, if you note, the, uh, the mouse pointer has snapped to the center. So say if I move the gun over here, but I want this to be my center point, I simply press the calibration button, and as you can see, the the cursor has moved back to the center of the screen. So let's go ahead and go back. If you note, I'm now in game. So just as I was saying earlier with your calibration, if you note, I'm pointing up and to the right, whereas the gun in game is in the center. So I will hold the calibration button down, aim down the sights, release the calibration button where I feel my center point should be, and if you note, it's more on target. So whenever you want to go around the corner, you'll simply move the gun left, hold the calibration button, ratchet it back to the center, and release. Now this takes just a little bit to get used to because you you know you have to turn, hold, release, and then let go. But once you, you get a little bit of practice in, everything's good. Okay, so thus being said, you will need to go into your in-game options menus um, and map all of the controls on the Delta so that they perform the actions that you want in-game. So I generally keep the Delta 6 powered off and I have, a, uh, I have an image which I've, I've sent in an email to you that, um, that shows you which button on the Delta 6 corresponds to which key on the keyboard. Um, for example, I know that the A, B, X, Y buttons on the side here are F1, 2, 3, and 4, and the D-pad that's over here on the front grip, if you can see that, um, are the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so again, I, I just, before I start playing or, or trying to do anything, I, I program all of my keys using my regular mouse and keyboard, that way whenever I want to play, it's just a matter of turning on the game, grabbing my delta, and, you know, playing. Alright, so I'm going to switch input tabs over here.
and I now have the Xbox One running Black Ops 3 in the background. So to get set up for the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, um, if, you're, if you're playing on a PlayStation 4, let me know and, and I can send you a, a, a tutorial video to get set up on that. But um, just for the sake of this video, I'm, I'm using my, my Xbox One. So I'm going to get this plugged into my console. And I'm going to take the Cronus Max. And whenever I plug it in, if you notice, it's flashing an AU. This means that you need to authorize the Cronus Max for use on the Xbox One console. Go ahead and tuck this cord into the corner of my desk here. So I'm going to take an official wired Xbox One controller. And if you notice, I have completely removed the batteries because if I plug the controller into the device and it has batteries, it will still be communicating with the console wirelessly and only receiving power. Now what the Cronus Max does is whenever it's flashing AU like this and I plug in the controller here, it takes the controller's information and essentially tricks the Xbox into thinking that we are using this controller no matter which controller we plug into the Cronus Max's input. So this being said, as you can see, I'm now able to navigate the, uh, the game using my controller, but we want to use the Delta 6. So I can unplug the controller, and this animation right here where it's running up and down, that indicates that it's in standby mode waiting for me to connect a controller. You'll also notice it has an, uh, an LED illuminated up at the top left hand corner here, or towards the input port, which indicates that it's waiting for a controller. If you had a dot down here in the bottom right hand corner, it would indicate that it's waiting for a console, but as we're connected to the console, we, we don't have the dot. So we can go ahead and set our Xbox One controller off to the side, and we will need to make sure that the guns receiver is set to PlayStation 3 or Xbox mode, and that the button itself is indeed raised up. So we, when we plug the Delta 6 receiver in, if you note, the Cronus Max now goes back to a zero, so we can set the receiver down. And just as before, we will grab the Delta 6, power it on, and calibrate. Now, this dial here, this changes the operational mode of the Delta whenever you're in console mode. Um, so you, you can refer to your uh, instruction manual to, to find out which of the modes does which, as I know one of them, you, you're able to look left and right using the, uh, the thumbstick in the front here, and it changes these two, uh, these two buttons on the front of your grip so that you can strafe left and right. Um, I know that the button on the very top of the grip here, that's your, your left bumper. There's a button right here directly below the trigger, which is your right bumper, um, usually the grenade button. And all of the, the buttons on the side here are actually the face buttons, or the ABXY, of your, your controller depending on the console that you're using. So this being said, we can go ahead and power on the Delta again. Hold the Delta towards the center of our screen. And when the gun vibrates, we can release the calibration. And if you notice, whenever I flick the thumbstick around, it's indeed allowing me to select my class. Okay. So I have this set up for whenever I was playing on a controller last. So I have it inverted, which is terrible for this. And you can adjust your sensitivity in-game to match whatever personal preference that you like. Now I've also coded a sensitivity script for the Cronus Max that allows you to go through and fine-tune the sensitivity, which essentially gives you a lower sensitivity when you're more towards the middle of the screen and as you go out towards the side, it'll raise it so that you can spin corners better. But uh, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using it without any, um, without a custom GPC script. So I'm going to go back, and if you notice, let's go ahead and get our guy facing the center of the screen. We'll hold the calibration button down. I'm gonna aim down the sights, and whenever I release the button, you notice I'm staying still. Now, this mode works different on the, um, on, on the console than, than on the PC because it's, it's emulating a joystick. So if you notice, if I look left and right, 
I'm not spinning, but as I was stating earlier, if I use this thumbstick here, I'm able to look left and right. Now if I switch over to mode, let's say three, let's go ahead and get recalibrated. I'm able to look left, right, and up and down. Now, whenever you calibrate your center point, that's where your, your zero point would be as if your, let's go ahead and move this over here, as if your thumbstick is sitting vertically up and down. Oh, I believe I threw a grenade and, and blew myself up. So to look left and right, you would simply move the gun off to the right. The further off to the right you move it, the faster he'll spin, and you'll move it back to the center to stop. The same as looking up and down. I really hope this helped clear things up for you. And if you have any more questions, you know, feel free to send an email. I can make more videos for you if need be. Um, you know, just, just contact us and I'll get back with you as soon as I can.